Welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today uh, we're going to look at uh, in integrating uh, with your on board and OBS snap camera filters so you can give your chat controls through channel points or chat commands uh, to be able to change things to things like this or things like this. So let's get into it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to uh, snap camera uh, dot snapchat.com and then we're going to go to the download section we're going to download it we just have to go through this section here uh, read all if you want to read the the the, the agreement then that's up to you uh, otherwise tick it put your email address download it for uh, well, we're on PC uh, I know with Lior on board you can download and use Lior on board on Mac there is a workaround um, if you have got it I will uh, link a video to that actually um, from good friend Andy Lippy so um, we'll link that in the description as well if you are on Mac um, if not we we are going to go for PC so we, we've already downloaded so tick the tick the box here uh, tick this box uh, I'm not a robot uh, put your email address download it for PC uh, let it download and install it onto your, to your PC so next, once you download it, open the program up. Um, we're going to be uh, invited onto this screen. There are a few settings we do need to, to change um, and do. So I go with the, the current settings that are on it generally. So it does select my camera, but you can choose. If you've got different cameras, you can set up different cameras to do it as your snap camera. Um, when you are in OBS, you will have to set um, your only camera up as um, your snap camera. Um, but we'll go through that in a second. Um, we set all that. We set all your settings, your output settings, and stuff like that. That is actually going to play up with me because I haven't set that right. So we're going to leave that at that setting. We can change it to 1080p and all of that. Um, I have generally left all this. You can flip the video. It will will flip it round. Uh, and that's when my headset tried to turn off uh, <laughs> um, and then there are loads of hotkeys we can add in as well do this work through this trigger different effects and all that so we'll, we'll back out of that it's doing it again so we're going to press it once more and it hopefully it'll stop it that time right then we come to this screen this is where we can go through you can search for different lenses um, so like the one we had at the start we'll go for carrot it will re search for it we can find it we turn it on we test it and it shows you in the screen and it does show you me on the bottom because I have it set up with my camera as a snap camera so test different ones find certain ones just have a play around with it once you find ones that you do like so like the carrot one what we end up doing I will just go back to that what we have done is we've liked it so we've we've uh, starred it there and then that's one that we we like for in the future this is what we're going to need further down the line when we, we do it. So we are have a list of different ones that we like. We, we've tried out, we've tested, we quite like. Um, not all of them are linked into my channel just yet, um, but there are ones that we, we do have. Um, once we have done that, what we do need to do is we, to make it work with Lior on board and uh, so your chat can interact with it. Uh, this is the way that I found works best. Um, is we do need to set hotkeys. So, so we're going to use the carrot one as an example. Um, so this one we've got it Alt, Shift, and C. Um, you can edit it. You can change it. Do it to whatever suits you. All right. It's, it says it's conflicting, but it's it's not. It's certainly not um, because we've got them all there. Excuse me. Um, so we're going to remember that. Okay. And then we're going to hop in to uh, into uh, OBS. We'll show you how I've got OBS set up. Uh, and then we'll jump into the Orion board and show you how I set the, the buttons up as well. So now we're in OBS. Um, our, inside OBS, we need to set up uh, your camera as a sna as snap camera. So what we do is we right click. We click properties. Uh, and then on the drop down menu, it will give you an option for snap camera. So we select that. Uh, you can mess, not mess around, but you can adjust some of the, the, the settings. I, I leave it as it is a lot of the time. Um, but you can you can adjust certain things and different bits if you want to. Uh, it's not essential, but I, I leave most of the stuff as, as they are. So once we do that, we press OK. Um, 
and that's that bit set up. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to set up buttons within Lorient, start again, within uh, Lioran board, um, which again, if you haven't uh, done it before, uh, we will show you, we'll, we'll drop a link of a couple of uh, YouTube tutorials on how to set up Lioran board. Um, uh, and obviously you've got to have OBS Studio within this. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to right click, we're going to cop, basically we're going to try and get this carrot cam one. I've already got one set up, but we're going to show you how to do a new one. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click, we are going to do simulated key press macro. So what we need is on a snap camera, we need to remember what we chose for it. So we've got Alt, Shift and C. So we need to press Alt, Shift, and C. We're going to just call it Carrot. Uh, we'll call it Carrot Test. If you want to put it on a separate line, remember you can do this. We just put a hashtag there, uh, and it puts it on a separate line. So we create that. Um, what this does now is it will, when when we press Done, uh, we press Done and Done again, we go to the actual board. And that'll turn that on. But what we want to do is we want to be able to do it so the chat can do it. We don't want to be pressing the button ourselves. That's just that's just lazy. We don't. We want to be lazy. We want to let the chat do it with either a command, with a chat command, or um, with a uh, channel point. So we know how to set up channel points. We're going to do is we're going to do this one with a chat command in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. We are going to create a blank button. We're going to call it, I'm going to call this carrot uh, hashtag test on just so it's a little bit different to the one I've already got. Then we're going to go into into it and we're going to add commands. OK, we click the press and uh, click the plus. I can't words today. Brilliant. Lovely. Um, <laughs> and then what we're going to do is we're going to look for trigger. We can type it in trigger button. Uh, there's one bit of information we haven't got, but we're gonna we're gonna go back to that in a second. Uh, so what we're gonna do because we haven't got one bit of vital information, which is the button ID. Okay, so we're gonna get clicked on on that. We're gonna right click on that. We're gonna find that the button ID is one nine five. Okay, so in one nine five, we need to go back into this one. We right click, edit commands. We get the button ID is one nine five. We need it in that one as well because we only want it for a certain period of time we don't want people to continually we don't want it to be triggered and then leave it on or you can do it's up to you um we want it we don't want it to uh, we want it to be true on the first one and then we want it to be false on the second note we want it to be true sorry well i'm just going to remind myself bear with me it is true on both this i know this works so we want it on true on both um what we're going to do edit commands and then we're going to give the second one give it the delay whatever you want so on this in this instant we'll give it 10 seconds so that's ten thousand milliseconds and then we're going to press done so that in theory is going to work the only other bit we haven't done is we're going to add a twitch trigger so in this case i'm going to put it you can do it with all these different bits but what i'm going to do it is with a chat message I'm going to make it so anybody can do it, but you can make it for first, you can make it for subs, uh, for just me, for the broadcaster, for mods, for VIPs, but you have to add all each individual one in. I'm just going to call this one carrot, and we're going to press done. So, and then we're going to press done again, which Andy will appreciate, because I keep reminding him every time he does a Leoran board, uh, a Leoran board, uh, uh, tutorial so we're done with all that so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over back to OBS and we're gonna show you it being tested in OBS so now we're back we're back in OBS uh, when somebody does now use exclamation mark carrot we turn to a carrot it stays for 10 seconds once the 10 seconds is up it turns it off and we're back again we're back as we were um it's brilliant to use mess around with all the different filters find stuff there are some bad ones i will say there are some bad ones there are some good ones as well but just play around with it 
play around with it. Uh, we're going to keep making different tutorials as well on Lior, well, Lioran board and on OBS. So make sure you do drop a subscription, uh, hit that little bell. Um, also, make sure you do check out the Streamer Lounge. Uh, it's a, a fun little series that we've got going on on the channel uh, with different um, different streamers. Um, we've got so far at the moment we've got seven out, all being great guests. And um, we've got future ones and some really good guests coming up. Uh, so thank you again. We'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.